Good evening, and welcome to my wrap-up for the spatials. Uh, the reason this isn't a normal episode is, um, well, can you guess? Look at this main screen here, and tell me what you notice. Uh, there's a couple new numbers here. It says 2.5.0, which means we got a new update to the spatials. Uh, and this happened back at the beginning of February, roughly uh, the 4th, I think it was. And the other thing your trained eye might notice is that, is that there's no load game button here. Uh, so you can kind of guess what happened here. I updated to the new version here of 2.5, and of course, uh, I didn't see a way to back up my saves, and I lost them. So uh, we lost our playthrough only, what, six episodes in, unfortunately. Um, I don't really have a desire to go back and finish this up again now uh, and do more of it. I mean, we could easily recreate our colony. We weren't that, or colony uh, space station here. We weren't that advanced in the game here yet, but, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to try this out and get a little taste of it and see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, it was a fun game. I mean, it, get a little, it got a little grindy there, and I, I guess one of the things they worked on was the grindiness of it in, in the early game here. Um, but yeah, I just don't have a lot of desire to go back and play it again through all, through all the beginning stuff here, getting all established again here, um, and doing bigger barracks this time around. I don't know, I mean... This is either this is either the final episode or a brand new episode one, depending on you guys. If you want me to see me play through the beginning here again, uh, and I mean I, the problem is the gameplay loop was not changing too much. As I pointed out in previous episodes, it was a lot of just go to this planet, kill the pirates, and then get the loot, and that was pretty much it. It was that over and over and over again. So the the, the emissions were getting a little boring to me. I did like the contract aspect of it. We didn't get a lot into that. We just started doing this last time, and they have done some uh, updates to this. Looks like they did. Auto pick crew now, so you can just do average officers, best officers. Um, that's kind of quick. That's kind of nice and quick. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what where we're going with this. It, it's it was uh, so like they also changed the way these work too. There's looting, there's abundance, uh, and um, there's there's training. So these are more experience based, and these are more loot based, and these are more resource based. So they get kind of like three three things of items now. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I have a lot of desire to, to play this through, see all the way through again here. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of where I'm where I'm at now. Um, but it was fun. I will say that I would recommend this game uh, if you're looking for something kind of like this to play. Uh, I definitely see this as potential on the iPad. I know, I know they originally released an iPad version for it. I think is the story here, and uh, it didn't pan out um, the first time they launched it. I'm guessing they'll try to bring it back, because this does, I think this, this game would work well on the, uh, for this, we're just playing for a massive, massive colony here, look at all these, look at all these beds, that'd be perfect, it's got a massive, uh, just a luxury colony with just all beds everywhere, it's like, it's like Kramer's idea on Seinfeld to just do a room of all pillows kind of thing, it's all beds, just every bed, just, just beds everywhere, and then storage is decorative, I don't think that really matters, um, so yeah, we'd have to go through all of the basic stuff here again, go through the first missions, uh, which is fine. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it kind of got to be more of the same constantly here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Archaeologists found something on, interesting on the surface of the planet, which is to help finish research, fine. So this is like the very first few missions I had something different. This has got like a monolith, that's kind of cool. Um, so we got to find the fragments. I mean, it's, it boils down to a lot of the same stuff all the time. There's not a lot of variety of events that can happen. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the spatials behind here. Uh, we'll move on to other things. I'll go back. We're doing RimWorld again now. And that kind of, that kind of, now that RimWorld's back, it kind of solves my, uh, my, uh, whole, uh, you know, colony building, uh, itch that I get. Um, so we've got that going at least. And, uh, we got, we got the action front with Vagante and, uh, then the creative front with the, uh, the Strangelands and the Mage Quest. So, I mean, I got a lot going on right now. And then just the random stuff in between, like Town of Salem, GeoGuessr, uh, whatever else might come up with some people. Uh, who knows? And Starbound, of course. How am I forgetting Starbound? It's like a staple of my channel. How did I even forget that? Starbound is always gonna be around for the foreseeable future. Um, so yeah, I think, I think my, my bases are covered for the moment here. Until I find another game to, uh, or need another room my, my schedule for a game like this. And uh, something that can replace RimWorld. And then again, RimWorld I still like to play, and uh, I'm enjoying it. So I think this will this will be taken up the spot. The spot. The RimWorld's taking over the spot basically for the spatials on the on the schedule here. I mean, this is this is it's fine. It's a fine game. This the spatials is a, is a fine game. But um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna keep playing it necessarily. Uh, what do we get here? What is this? A monolith fragment. Oh, we need to get all of those. I see. Come on, just kill the guys. 
could also do our powers. We haven't been doing that lately. There we go. Grab some stuff. So yeah, I mean, I don't think we'll be playing this on the channel anymore. Um, so I just wanted to come and kind of hop in here and let you guys know what this what the deal is. Uh, nothing, nothing against the game or anything like that. I just lost my saves and kind of just kills my uh, my inspiration for uh, doing things here. Oh my goodness, I didn't see that coming. Okay, well, it wasn't too tough. I'm mostly just stand there and kill things. Uh, it doesn't have like nuanced combat. I think like I mean I could see this getting. I don't know. Even even I was gonna say I could see this getting complex, but actually I really can't. Um, getting more complex than it is. It's mostly just walk around, shoot things, use your powers when you, when they're charged, and uh, it's fine. It's not it's not a bad game by any stretch. It's just not you know something I really want to do again just yet. Maybe someday I'll come back to it if if it's got a massive update or something like that. Uh, and there's a reason to come back to it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, no more spatials on the channel for the foreseeable future. I know it's gonna be some of you are enjoying it, so I do apologize for that. Uh, the save game thing kind of set me off, though, of course. So I'll be back with more. There's gonna be RimWorld to kind of hopefully scratch the niche of the same thing of this scratch the niche, scratch the itch of the same kind of genre as this a little bit. Uh, and I, again, I'd rather play RimWorld than this, to be honest with you, because RimWorld's got a little more variation, a little bit more tactics, strategy, that kind of thing compared to this. This is a nice little game to play after kill some time, though I think. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching uh, the Spatial series. Uh, I'll be back with new stuff on the channel very soon. RimWorld is coming back here now. We've got that coming up. Uh, another episode will go up probably tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching Spatials. If you did enjoy it, please let me know via comments and likes and all that. I do appreciate it. If you want to see the series come back and I have a compelling reason to do so in the future, um, I will definitely take a look at it. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys around.